the ground floor functioned as a storage, this stone structure. Mm. They did not live there in the past, in the 17th, 18th centuries. Uh, they only used for storing their fishing nets, fishing tackles, wine barrel, mm. wine casks. And they lived in the wooden structure. Living was there in the wooden part. Cooking was in the wooden part. It looks like one, you go inside into a um, hall and the rooms are aside around this lobby or a hall. And it's uh, well, one of the reasons, like I said, for UNESCO to protect that table. Typical old uh, gate, <laughs> typical old gates. This is the ringing <laughs> bell also, the handle, handle. This one, this is the the way they were like calling, yeah, they were mm. making a call, they were ringing, this is the old bells. This is a Christian family lived here, this mm. is obituary, memorial, in memory, she passed away on the 5th of September this year. Mm. Now we continue, the kids here are selling their products. Bijuta. Midichki. Bravo, bravo, bravo. We continue now. Let's uh, first uh, visit the uh, uh, Saint uh, John Aliturgetos Church. And this will give us a chance to view the uh, amphitheater down below and the court. but originally on this place there was a holiday home for the Holy Synod. You know, in the past, a lot of institutions had their own holiday homes built. This was a holiday home to the Holy Synod. Now they renovated it and this is a ritual home for weddings, ceremonies, and this is managed by the Nesebra municipality. A very different architectural style to the other houses uh, we have in the town. Uh, bricks. You see how many decorations they have made of uh, uh, fish bones. Uh, this imitates checkmate, like uh, the mat of the chess playing chess. Uh, here you can see how the church looked like. 
before the restoration, before this American US fund restored, you can see how it looked. The next uh, church in our program is St. Stephen. Let's come here. St. Stephen's.